Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi my lovely students It's nice to see you again in this classroom management course Well, in this lovely video We are going to discuss such an interesting topic It is about managing time and classroom space For both face-to-face -face class and virtual class Here our discussions will focus on two things The first one, how to set up the offline and virtual class And then the second, how to manage instructional time for both classes And then the purpose of this topic is to show the strategies and techniques to help you as the future teacher ensures that your students spend most of their class time engaged in learning and that your classroom space is used as efficiently as possible. It is possible that in the future, you as the teacher not often have the opportunity to make more time for learning. But teachers have always demonstrated that they are remarkably creative at making good use of whatever resources they have. And it is the goal of these sections to help you to do that. I remember that there is one of my teachers in senior high school ever said that time is the coin of teaching. It's up to us to spend it wisely. So basically, as a teacher, the effective use of time is an important aspect in helping your student achieve learning goal and making the classroom as an enjoyable place. Classroom space also affects your classroom activities. A high quality of classroom activities requires both efficient use of time and space. So that's why it is very important for you to know further about this topic. Let's begin to our first discussions about setting up the face-to-face -face classroom and virtual classroom. However, setting up your face-to-face -face classroom space with seating arrangement is the first assignment for you as the teacher. The way you set up your classroom completely determines the experiences you and your students share in the class. Deciding what types of seating arrangement you want depends on the types of classroom equipment you have, space in your classroom, and your teaching style. There are some key ideas to keep in mind when you start your planning in arranging student seating. First, You have to accommodate the type of instructions and activities you use most often. Second, be flexible so that your students can easily and quickly rearrange furniture such as table and chair to accommodate special activity in the classroom. The third, you have to allow space for students' movement, storage, and equipment setups. Fourth, You have to encourage movement and flexibility. And then the fifth, you have to provide a maximum amount of personal space for each student. So we have to be careful in managing the seating. Because why? Because the crowded classroom might affect students' attitudes and achievement, and then increase dissatisfactions and decrease attentiveness. In planning your classroom arrangement, You have to consider grouping students into some sections with walkways from back to front and then side to side between the row. And this allows you to move easily around the classroom and check your students' progress. And this type of arrangement can be quickly rearranged so students can work together in small groups. According to Cummings 2000, Actually, there are four sample seating arrangements for face-to-face -face classroom. The first one, it is pair desks or tables for stu two students. You will find this kind of seating arrangement in your elementary schools, junior high school, and senior high school. So there are two tables for two students. And then the second type is U-shape. It is like U. So the students table or chair is built as the U shape and then the third type is saffron for tables of four and this arrangement uses one table for four students and then the last is U shapes plus rows with additional two chairs in the middles right now 
I will share you how to set up a virtual classroom. Frankly speaking, moving a classroom online is not an easy task, especially for those who are new to teaching remotely for an extended period of time. Now, many teachers are stepping out of their comfort zones to learn new tools and online teaching strategies. That includes knowing how to create an environment that enriches students' learning and contributes to effective instructions, even if this takes place over the internet. Now, I will tell you four tips to get started with setting, setting up your virtual classroom. The first one, you have to get your at-home workspace ready. By creating a space for online teachings, it is crucial for teacher because why? Because it helps you to stay productive and focus that minimize distractions that may disrupt your students' learning. And on the second, you have to test your technology or computer laptop before the start of the class. Teachers should be aware of the common technical issues that they and their students may encounter during online learning. It is a good idea for teachers to conduct a video and audio test on any devices or online learning platforms that will be used to minimize the amounts of troubleshooting. And then the third, you have to set classroom expectations, goals, and routines. Even if students aren't physically in the classroom, teacher will still need to set clear expectations for their classes to foster productive learning environments. Many schools have set goals and guidelines for students when using video conferencing platforms such as Zoom or for example another platform and then other digital tools. Teachers have also created slides and presentations to share on Google Classroom, Microsoft Teams, or the learning management system of their choices to help students navigate their learning or new classroom setting. And then the fourth, you have to make communications and survey tools available. By providing accessible and consistent communications, Teachers can keep parents informed on the latest school news or their students' program. Besides, the standard phone sales, emails, and text messages, teachers can post class updates and schedule one-on-one -on -one meetings using their learning management system. It is also important to collect feedback from students to identify areas of improvement. With online surveys such as Google Forms, CISO, Kahoot, or others, teachers can ask students about students' online, online classroom experience. Here, teachers can also collect valuable data such as what time students are doing their online schoolwork and how long it takes them to complete it. Now, we are going to discuss on how to manage instructional time. In this area, we will look at strategies for using instructional time effectively, focusing on how to use soft time relates to choice of instructional strategies. Basically, effective time management is one of skill necessary for success in school. Based on Wong and Wong, there are four different types of school's day time. The first, it is allocated time. It refers to the total time for teachers' instructions and student learning in the class. The second is instructional time. It is used when teachers spend the time actively in teaching by giving instructions or directions. And then the third, it is engaged time. It refers to the time students get involved in any task given by the teachers. And then the last, it is academic learning time, which refers to the time when teachers can prove that students learn the contents or master the skill they learn. Of course, we have to consider about these types of school day time 
because why because students need time to practice rehearse review apply and connect new learning and relate it to their everyday lives teachers who effectively manage time give their students the best opportunity to learn and to develop personal habits that leads to wise use of time Therefore, it can be said that effective time management and classroom space are critical to student achievement and their attitudes toward learning. Yeah, I think that's all for our topic discussions in this video. For next video, okay, we will learn or we will discuss about something new. So don't ever stop learning and enrich your knowledge. Thanks for your attention. See you on the next video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.